First up, before we begin, this video is going to be in about two or three parts depending on what happens when I'm editing it. But let's begin with a word of prayer as a person of Pastor Benny Hen prays for Prophet Pastor Java four years ago. Father, in the name of Jesus, Thank you, Lord Jesus. bless my friend, Thank you, Lord Prophet, Jesus. Prophet Passion, his wife, Thank you, Lord Jesus. his children, protect them and bless them and use them. Thank you, Jesus. Bless his ministry, purify his heart for your glory and his ministry for your glory. Thank you, Lord. Protect him from the wrong people Thank you, and the wrong advice. Thank you, Jesus. Anoint him mightily in the coming days. Mm. Use him mightily in the coming days to exalt your holy name, Jesus. Thank you. A million thanks. Amen. I know you might be wondering, why does Passion Java look a lot different four years ago than he looks now? This is not about the way he looks now, so please get that out of your mind. The reason why we are discussing the subject we have in this video today, first is Pastor Benny Hain, second is Passion Java like you have seen, third, Apostle Arama Osai, four is Apostle Joel Ogabe, who is the son of Apostle Arama Osai, the next is Prophet Obert Angel. Now, if you have been following the conversations that have been happening in the Christian circle, or would I say Christian politics, if I'm to put it that way, there has been a lot of conversations that we have had on this platform, different platforms, but I guess people like me get to make them very vocal as we get to analyze and dissect them. Why am I bringing the person of Pastor Benny Hain in this conversation? Benny Hain is one of the ministers that God used mightily to shape my life, shape my faith shape my work with God. I followed him like a very, very critical student of his. So much so that I, many years ago, I used to wear white suits. <laughs> now, when it comes to the definition of who is real or fake or whatever, I guess if you have watched me for over a year, you know my principles on that already. This video here is Apostle Aramo Osai talking about what I just mentioned now. One of, I was speaking to my brother yesterday, I said, bro, are you aware that one of the most difficult things is to know a man? I know you're not aware. Because I've seen highly prophetic fathers that have flocked with people they should not flock with. And I endorsed people that they should not have endorsed. And it is a body in the body of Christ because these people are our lampstands. And then they have endorsed criminals. They've endorsed wicked men. And because of that endorsement, there is nothing you can do about it. Those guys will still have people that will give them their ears. Even if they come with Satan to the pulpit, people will still hear them because some very highly respected ministers endorsed them. Now, in as much as he made this comment, you also have to know that just like many other pastors around the world hold Pastor Benny Hinn to a very high esteem, the same also applies to Apostle Aramo Osai. Part of this video as well would get to talk about the movie Prophet Suddenly. Of course, I've done a review on that, but I wasn't done. Here, I'm looking at the subject Prophet Joel Ogabe. Note, all of them, I address them as men of God because whether you like it or not, whether you hate or love this person or that person, they all have their following. That are then the comments if you check them out. But if you are in the BRG community, of course, we are very open-minded as we look at things objectively and make sense out of them. Prophet Joel Ogabe, some months back, called the person of Hubert Angel categorically, even though not explicitly, fake. I noticed that our generation has been so poorly discipled about the prophetic that it has now become a game, a game of accuracy. A game where you come out to prove yourself to the people. It's a game. I heard about something. They say the so-called prophet came out. And recently, and he was challenging other prophets that if they can truly see, let them have a competition of predicting football <laughs> matches. Are we together? A prophet comes out. This is supposed to be a prophet of God. I heard that. And I can challenge any prophet around the world. Let's challenge each other. Every Friday, every Saturday, 
when there is a soccer match, I will get all correct. All of them. Yes, sir. And I challenge you now. A prophet comes out. And he's not saying, let the prophets in the land, let's unite. Let's see how we can take this territory for God. Uh, let's see how we can plunder the works of darkness. Let's see how we can unseat a wicked king and install a righteous king. Let's see how we can cry against the iniquity of the land. Let's see how we can hold prayer so that Africa will be taken back for Jesus. What he is concerned about is who is the sharpest prophet. Let's compete with football matches. Sir, with all, with all humility, you are fake. You are fake. That's the truth. I don't know how I can tell you this anymore, you are fake. And also, there was once a time where Prophet Joel Logebe called out the person of Passion Java. He says, Prophet Java, Passion is a criminal. It's not a fake. It's a criminal. Yes. You have to understand that when it comes to this whole spiritual father, spiritual son, or brothers, or whatever in ministry, there are cliques. If you as a believer or if you as a follower of any one of those I've mentioned do not know, know the spiritual tribe like they call it, or know the carcass of your pastor. Because when you, when you touch one in any carcass, the rest are going to come for you. Just like we were discussing about the subject of miracle money, where Apostle Aramosa was trending for it, and then Ubat Angel reacted, and the next thing as well, there was this field where Passion Jabba got to step in and took a swipe at Aramosa. That's why you don't even believe that miracle money exists. If you believe that your mouth can be shifted and God shifts it, then you should have the authority to say there is no miracle man. <laughs> Talking about the shape of his mouth and how come he's not able to heal his mouth and is challenging someone that is seen as a pioneer of miracle money. I guess I came to bring a balance to that particular conversation where I get to expose the fakeness of the whole miracle money, especially the one that happened in Awuji with how it was staged and also the credit score miracle that Ubat Angel himself did. Hmm, credits to who? Credits to God for the wisdom, I would say. If you have not watched those videos, start there in the pinned comment if you're watching me on YouTube. But that's not the main subject of today's video. Prophet Joel Ogabe himself is someone I see that is very interesting when it comes to this mix. Why do I say it's interesting? Even though Prophet Joel Ogabe called the person of Ubat Angel fake, challenge a person of Prophet Passion Java. Did you know that once upon a time, Joel Ogabe himself was a very strong follower, believer, in fact, calls the persons, persons like Prophet Ubat Angel Papa, or people like his friend and brother, Apostle Johnson Suleiman Papa. Prophet Joel Ogabe, am I lying? I guess not. So I now ask, tend to ask myself a question. At what point did he become a prophet then? At what point was he raised in ministry then, if you had watched the movie Prophet Suddenly. Is it too small? That's where you're getting it wrong. Fatherhood, sonship, and spiritual knowledge is not for sale. No, um, I, I do not mean for it to look as though we were buying it. Um, I just thought to appreciate you, sir. Listen, my spiritual children are those that have been raised by me in ministry or those that have sat diligently under my tutelage and have imbibed our culture. In these things, there must be a connection. At what point did Prophet Joel Ogebe get into the mix of being a son of Apostle Eremosai? How was he raised? This is not in any way an attack or whatever. If you have been watching me over time, you know that all we deal with here is facts over sentiment. So I have no respect for your sentiments as some of you will be venting in the comment section. <laughs> you know, Twitter is a very interesting app that does a whole lot of things. This is what he says about the same Ubert Angel he called fake recently. Osborne Institute of Theology. Prophet Ubert Angel, just too supernatural not to attract attention. Like I always say, attention is what? So of course, Ubert Angel caught, caught his attention. There's no way I can be making this up. You are looking at my screen just like I'm looking at you right now. He moves on right here as well. I love Ubert Angel, the good newsman from Abu. Yeah. This was back in 2015. What happened between 2015 and this time, Prophet Joel Ogabe? You have some explanations to do, but I understand. People repent, people grow. But at this point, were you really a prophet or were you just a student 
looking for whose shelter to be under, or would I say looking for who to attach yourself to, to then build the relevance you have right now, which I respect. I have nothing against you, sir, if you're watching this video. I'm just stating facts here because these facts have to be known. The reason why I'm saying so is that when I was watching Ubert Angel's outburst during the whole Miracle Money conversation, where he had to dedicate a whole Sunday service to try to prove that Miracle Money was real, even though he was doing the credit score miracle that was not real. If you have not watched the video, please watch the video in the pinned comment before you start arguing in the comments, okay? Before, when he was speaking there, I knew he was, he spoke directly to you, then spoke about, of course, he, he talked about Joshua Selman, Michael Oropo, talked about, of course, Aramo Osai as the main key subject at that particular time. And I was wondering, why would he be speaking like that? Who is the person that he said he even speaks to personally and all that? Was it you? I don't know. If it was not you, would he have been lying? Because that is what even would trigger me to go this far as well. Yeah, that is why I love listening to you, sir, back in 2019. Also, sir, I would appreciate if you pick a day for questions and answers because some of us have, have some really pressing questions about the Bible, doctrine and ministry. I would really appreciate your verdict. Interesting. Even, even that he frees God to come into the subject, he says, I have a question, sir. That the freeze brought an argument stating that the name of Jesus is alien to true Christianity and that from his research it is the same name, Yesh, Yesh, Yeshua, I think he wanted to say Yeshu, that we should use. Please, Dad, please, Dad, <laughs> please, Dad, shed more light on this for the young Christians out there. Wow. So, as at 2019, he was your daddy. He has been working hard severely to get his attention. Do I have anything against their relationship? No, don't think like that. I'm just simply stating the facts here because if he's currently calling the same man that he follows and, you know, adores, Prophet Hubert Angel, fake at this point. Didn't he know he was fake as at... 2015, 2016, when he was following him bomber to bomber. I want to ask, at this point, would you say that uh, Prophet Joel is Prophet Suddenly? Like, not like Prophet Suddenly based on the movie, but how did he become a Prophet all of a sudden? If you look at his, look at his pathway when it comes to those he reverences, those he really sees or those he really appreciates and honors, how do you get to look at his journey did he become prophet suddenly or there is just a special touch with him you know getting in contact with the person of apostle arame osai <laughs> tell me what you think about this particular conversation and um i may not be making sense but the reason why i made this video because i, I don't think i'll be interacting in the comments on this one the reason why i made this video is for you to see the Politics, the power of attention. Prophet Passion Java knew that four years ago, his relationship with the person of Pastor Benny Hain or him having that meeting going, he went to Pastor Benny Hain, then did the recording and then, of course, post on his channel. Him going to him and having that recording of them having that teaching was more of like seemingly an endorsement for him. Do the relationships that pastors get to keep among themselves, does it matter? What leads you as to who you get to decide to follow? Because if the scripture says, follow me as I follow Christ, it is possible that you might be following someone. But before you get to follow that person, if you are following the person as a person follows Christ, and you see that this person is not living in accordance to the tenets of Christ, that means you have to know Christ to be able to know that you are following this person as he follows Christ. So it still comes down to having that personal relationship with God. But of course, you see many people in the comments, they are fighting, kitty, 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 kitty. they are calling me names. It's okay, I don't really mind. In the end, it's just numbers in the comments, I see. But what you have to know is that while you are here struggling as to who is this or who is that, you have to understand that at the upper echelon, where they get to 
have their relationships and whatever they do amongst themselves. On that level, what you are perceiving on the outside to be a rift may not actually be so. <laughs>